6 and 11. You're watching the Buddy Pew Show, featuring highlights of the defending back-to-back -back MEAC champions, SC State University Bulldogs. Our sponsors are State Farm Insurance, Orangeburg County, the South Carolina Education Lottery, the Regional Medical Center, Time Warner Cable, Palmetto Health, Advanced Diagnostic Imaging Center, Fats Cafe, Paragon Builders, Bill Owings Custom Clothing, and Whitash Furnishing. And now, here's Coach Buddy Pugh and our host, Ernest Robinson. And welcome once again to another edition of the Buddy Pew Show as we talk South Carolina State football with Bulldog Head football coach Buddy Pew. Saturday night, South Carolina State, the home opener, taking on Mississippi Valley at the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Bulldogs come away with a dominating 44 to nothing win over Mississippi Valley coach. Mississippi Valley ran 48 plays. They end up with 44 yards. You can't ask for a better defensive performance. You're exactly right. Our defense played good all night. And you just made all kinds of plays. It was a good injection of excitement into our, into our thought process. And, you know, we own now for the rest of our season. You talk about South Carolina State doing it on both sides of the football coach. You wanted to improve in all phases. And I thought on Saturday night, other than perhaps a botched extra point, it was pretty good offense, defense, and special teams. It was good some. We had some penalties in the kicking game. I wish we could have gotten one of those punt returns off without the penalties. But, you know, I can say that our kids did go after it pretty good. And I'm interested to see the film today because, you know, I didn't quite see some of the blocks in the back. I did see that very last one, but some of the others I didn't. So, you know, we'll just have to wait and see this morning. It was a big night for South Carolina State Saturday night. We can't wait to get to the highlights. We'll take a time out here on the Buddy Pugh Show. We come back. We'll get you. Saturday's exciting highlights, the Bulldogs and the Delta Devils of the Swag Conference on this edition of the Buddy Pugh Show. produces more minority officers for the United States military. Because we began the national debate to choose the next president of the United States. Because here we compete at the highest level. Because when it comes to social mobility, we're ranked number one in the nation. Because I'm a part of the only undergraduate nuclear engineering program in South Carolina. We are SC State University. Furnishings for this set of the Buddy Pew Show provided by Whitash Furnishings. Whitash Furnishings is a proud sponsor of the Buddy Pew Show. I call it a decent crowd on Saturday night given the rain that came Saturday afternoon for South Carolina State. And the Bulldog defense coach gets right after him here early in the football game. Right. You see uh, Dominique Ellis forcing the play inside and Julius Wilkinson going in and, and, and making a nice stop. We go right to the punt formation because this, of course, changed the nature of the game. Mississippi Valley faking it on fourth down. They needed three for first down. Didn't come close. You're right. Yari King sniffed it out and saw the uh, faking. I wish he had wrapped up and made the play that way, but he did get the guy slowed down though, so we could get him down. And then on the very first play, uh, uh, we run the split zone, and uh, Chris Massey scores from about 20 some odd yards out. Chris Massey, a senior out of Shira, South Carolina, 28 yard run for a touchdown. And just like that, it took seven seconds. Bulldogs on the board, the point after touchdown, good. Seven nothing. South Carolina State, 12.48 to go uh, in the first quarter. And once again, Mississippi Valley goes on defense and the Bulldog uh, goes on offense and the Bulldog defense right there. Right, that's Roy L. Ferguson and, and uh, uh, Courtney Ingram coming in from the outside and they really, you know, hit this guy hard now. They go into punt formation and Linnell Jeter begins a great night for himself with a block punt. You're exactly right. Linnell Elmore had a L big game Linnell for us. I knew I was going to say that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we did get the I think uh, Dwan Thompson eventually got the recovery. And then, you know, we go we run the stress play there. You see Devin Weir having a nice block. And, you know, after two snaps on offense, we up 14 nothing. And, you know, that sometimes scare you, but scares you because, you know, it's almost too easy. But uh, Chris Master did score again on the stretch play. And then we come back and kick the PAT. 10.08 to go in the first quarter. 14 nothing South Carolina State. And coach, as you said, it seems so easy but for the defense I mean they just not allowing any yardage on the part of yeah. uh, Mississippi yeah. Valley. Pat Washington just disrupts the whole thing there and then you see Kristen Thompson and Julius Wilkes are both hitting him in the backfield. 
The control of the line of scrimmage belongs to the defensive line. Dominic Ellis coming up from a corner position. You know, it's fun to see Dominic, and he's a he's a safety. He's our strong safety, and you see him up in the line making plays all the time. And you know, Julius is in there and, uh, getting involved too. And I, you know, from this point on, you know, we kind of slow down a little bit, but uh, master does gain some yards there, and you know, we get a good block, and and then we come back here, we throw a little little flat pass out to Mass and he breaks the tackle and gets, you know, some extra yards. But we got to protect better. I was I was not real happy with our protection uh, uh, on Saturday. And then we end up turning the ball back over to them. And, you know, this is this is Joe Council. And Joe Council is really coming on from the defensive tackle position. It's generally hard to make sacks from this position. But, you know, he had a nice game here this past Saturday. Joe Council, a senior from Walterboro, played at Collington High School down in Walterboro after the first quarter. Bulldogs still leading 14 nothing. You get a little concerned because you got score those early points so quickly have an opportunity here and it gets away from Ashton and, Jordan and and I'm disappointed a little bit you know in and for Ashton because you know we wanted him to kind of continue to get the big yardage and he ended up getting I think about 70 yards I think both he and Mass had about 70 yards but you know he turned the football over there and that kind of throws you out of whack and then you see Pat Washington here. Pat's really getting to be a playmaker for us. And, you know, they run the naked and Pat tackles on him. And then and this is this is David Irvin. I'm going to tell you, David is like a, you know, like a blur there, like a bullet coming after that quarterback. And does a nice job of sacking him and getting him down. And then, you know, they try to run a defense where they bring a lot of guys off the edge. And, you know, we can't run the football against that. So we got to throw it out here on the little pass here. That was a little flat pass to to uh, Norwood, and then we come back and do hand it to Ashton Jordan here, and Ashton gains yardage. And, you know, we continuously gaining yards, but somehow or another, we stumping our toe there from time to time. This is a fourth down play here where we throw the, the slant pass to, uh, to Elmore. Linnell Elmore had 12 catches on the night, set a single-season reception record, breaking the 11 by Tavares Morgan. Chris Massey making a move inside and getting good yardage. You can tell that Mass is one of those kind of guys that as he gets a little bit more comfortable, you'll see him making a lot of people miss. He can shake and bake, and he's got some toughness about him, too. And then, you know, Julius is coming off the edge here, and Jason Ayers, and that's why we call Jason the noodle, because they're chopping him here, and he almost thinks, you, you, you would think that he'd be going down, and he has the wherewithal to still get his hands up and bat the ball out. And then we come back here right at the end of the half and hit Elmo down the seam on the full verticals pass. And I think he, I thought he was going to score, but he didn't quite get in. But then we run the play action pass, you know, off of our right flank here. And Malcolm hits Devin Ware, and Devin dies over for the score. Malcolm, a big night, a comeback night for him. 21 of 28, 232 yards on the night for Malcolm Long. One touchdown, no interceptions. Point after touchdown was good. Uh, Bulldogs added a field goal early on, and that made it South Carolina State now uh, 24 to nothing over Mississippi Valley. We'll take a break here on the Buddy Pew Show and come back with more after this timeout.